So for the finale, we have Zach uh, doing Ignite Karaoke. So for anyone that went to Zach um, and Zoe, yeah, Zach, with Zach and Zoe. John, I wasn't that bad of a client. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So for anyone that uh, went to Ignite uh, 1, um, they were able to witness uh, Bryce Murray struggling through 20 slides, trying to find some common theme. Yeah, which 20, one of the 20, 20 things you've ever watched. 20 time, random slides. Yeah. So uh, what we have here is the submissions of uh, people that uh, wanted to make Zach look silly up here. So, so I have no idea what I'm doing right now, but... Mission accomplished. <laughs> I... All right. I'm ready. Let's do it. Buckle up. So my name is Zach. This is Zoe. She's going to help me out today. Um, and I'm going to do a little story for you. I have a story to tell you that I'm really excited to share. Um, <laughs> it's not about John Hawkins and, and how bad of a client I am. Um, and here we are. So I grew up on Tobacco Farm, and when you grow up on Tobacco Farm, you're pretty much always sitting on top of tobacco, trying to get it into the trailer. <laughs> Sometimes you, you, you have some trouble, you hold it around your arms, and, and, and like me, for example, when I had a trailer full of tobacco once, I drove a tractor into a ditch and, and almost died. But what was interesting about that is the reason I ran off the road was because of a koala. I was driving down the road and he was sitting in the middle, I didn't want to kill him, and he tried to attack me. And in, in retrospect, I probably should just run over him because he was an awful creature. Um, and, and, and this is what happened. As I, I pulled over, because at the farm we had cows, and, and, and so after the koala had saved his life, he ran away and had a good life. And then a cow attacked me, or whatever the hell. It was sort of like this. It was like a morphed cow. I think it ate some tobacco, some crazy shit happened. And I was like, holy crap! And that's what I looked like as a kid, actually. When, uh, just, I've lost more hair over time. Um, I'm sort of like Dylan. Um, I'm just not quite to where Dylan is yet. Um, and, and so, you know, that, the, the, the experience was really jarring. Um, but I, I really feel like that looks like watermelon. And, and so after that whole experience, I had some watermelon after the nap. What I found is if you, if you take a nap for about 60 minutes or so, it increases your alertness for at least 10 hours. So I'm just going to read from the slide. <laughs> but the problem with eating a lot of watermelon is you end up being fat. <laughs> and so you end up eating a lot of sugar, and, and, you, and sometimes you just want to dominate the world, like, like this very angry Korean. And, and you want to take over the entire country. And this all comes from watermelon. <laughs> angry for a while, you, you end up morphing into a creature with the, 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 that wants to eat everything around it, and then when you're not in that mode, you look like him. Um, but you know, at, all, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about enjoying life and, 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 and keeping risk at a minimum. Um, and, and then at a point where you know, you're on the side of the road, a cow's chasing you, just avoid killing a koala, you realize you're fucked. You just can't wait anymore. Um, but, but from time to time, you have to just, you have to let yourself lose your mind and realize you're just, you're just a fucking tomato. <laughs> just, and, 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 and that's fine. It's fine to lose it and, and just lose your mind from time to time. <laughs> that's how I felt before, but then I saw Carl of Duty. <laughs> how much I love Family Matters and how warm and awesome that family was and how he just hated Urkel and thought, I can be that guy. I, 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 can, I can let myself get wrapped up in a hose like a cat and, and, and roll, around in a, roll around in a yard and, and, and enjoy life but not really care that all these things are holding me back. Because I saw Carl of Duty and I, and I had a really, a really a epiphany moment. And so when you... So when you <laughs> When you have that moment, you realize what it's like to be a cat, you sort of start changing your style. <laughs> and from time to time, I wear that, and I deliberate. I deliberate about whether I should wear, as you saw on the last slide, I deliberate whether I should, whether I should wear a bra or not. And some days, I do, and some days I don't. But no matter what, I, I remember the kitten. And sometimes I wear the kitten, and, and it, makes me, it reminds me that it's okay to be crazy. <laughs> and through all of that, through running off the side of the road, watching Carl of Duty, and everything, I managed to graduate college. And at this point, I hadn't yet lost my hair. <laughs> and, and, and it was just such a happy moment. But the stupid dog, the predecessor to Zoe, just, just, just didn't like it. And, and, and you know what? Like, at the end of the day, you just have to just say, from time to time, you gotta freak out and, and just go like this. You have to freak out when you're home alone, you're sad, the qualms are coming after you, <laughs> and you just have to set the tape. And your goal, your really goal, your number one goal is to, to minimize all the clutter in your life and make it simple, like, like, a, like a slate. 
And, and so if, you're, if you can make the splayed happen, <laughs> you can just say, fuck the world, I can do whatever I want. I can be emo, I can do whatever I want. And when the cows attack you, you can say, dude, just chill, just chill. Just be like this guy, he's super chill. He's got the beaver haircut, that's what I want to be. One that just doesn't care. But, to do all of that, you have to stay in shape. And sometimes you do it with a group. And, and, and this, you know, and this is an example of me. By the time my hair started falling out, this is what I do for fun, and, and it keeps me grounded. It keeps me happy. And then you make tons and tons of money, and you're like, you're like Chevy Chase, and you don't know what to do, and you're dropping it on numbers on the roulette table, and you're just so excited, and there's dollar bills flying everywhere, and that's what happens when you let yourself be a, 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 a kitten with an emo haircut, or or a girl that becomes a guy. And at this point, I'm done. And if you have <laughs> any questions, let me know. And drink some beer and enjoy. I made it through. I hope that was fun. <laughs> <laughs>